Hey guys, Britt Britt here. Welcome back to my channel. Today the new desert egg dropped and I bought 15 of them to see what I could get for these desert eggs. In my how to get a rich inventory video, my very first tip is to buy new eggs as soon as they come out and trade them for pets. So in this video, I put that tip to the test. Let's see what we can get for trading the all new egg. So this is the very first hour that the new Desert Egg came out. It seems like just about everyone was able to buy one and lots of people are trading them. So very quickly I decided to go ahead and hatch one to see if we could trade the Desert Pet along with the eggs. I can see lots of people are trading eggs, so I decide to add trading Desert Eggs to my name so people can easily see that I'm trading the eggs. Adding things to your name is a very easy way that you can like let people know what you're looking for. Like if you're looking for specific pets or you're trading something or whatever. All right, so I decided to go ahead and hatch this first desert egg. Uh, like I said, just to see if I could trade the pet. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some of these um, tasks out of the way at my house. I'm going to add a bunch of donuts and waters to my bag just so I'm ready to age up this pet or any other eggs that we might need to. I put out my hot cocoa stand because why not make money while we're looking to trade these desert eggs. If you guys know anything about me so far, you know that I cannot pass up an opportunity to grind or make money. So I have my hot cocoa stand out. Very soon, very shortly, you're going to see my alt come on. I'm going to be speed grinding while trying to trade these desert eggs. Here is where my alt, Do Drop Grind, joins me. Um, I need to create a family. I need to add her to the family so I can be grinding. And can you guys believe how many people are on this server? I mean, it's crazy. Like, so many people are so excited for the all-new Desert Egg. As soon as this task is complete, we are going to head back to the center of town so that we can trade, like the trading center. So we're about to get, right now we're getting our first offer, so we're going to see what it is. Oh my gosh, I loved this offer. I was like, yes, I definitely want a gingerbread um, mouse and I'll take the Christmas future egg. I just love the gingerbread mouse and um, I want to make a mega. So yes, yes, yes. I totally just should have accepted instead of, a instead of asking, can you add? Okay, so let's see what she says. Um, oh no, she took that stuff out. What's she going to offer? Her first offer was really pretty awesome as far as I'm concerned. This one looks pretty good. I mean, I am accepting all offers and I'm just, sometimes they'll say, can you add, but I'm, I'm actually just accepting all offers because I just want to show you guys that you can get a rich inventory from trading the desert eggs as soon as they come out or whatever the new egg is. She says, do I still add? And I say, can you add the other stuff? Because I just really loved the gingerbread mouse. So let's see what she does because I do still have two desert eggs in there for this offer and I'm willing to give the two desert eggs to her if she adds the other stuff back in that she had originally offered. So I'm gonna take one of the desert eggs out. I actually, I like all those pets just fine. She said, can this do one? So all that for one egg, I think that's a pretty good offer. But I still am just stuck on that first offer, so I just wanna ask her if she would be willing to add that other stuff and then I'll add another egg. I think she just decided that that first offer was like too much maybe. So let's see, this is taking a really long time. So I guess she's thinking, she said, mm, oh, here she's adding some stuff back in. I like a ghost. I like a beluga whale. As far as I'm concerned, this is a super good offer for a desert egg. I'm super happy with this. So I'm going to go ahead and accept. She accepted. So let's see if she's going to continue. Guys, I really think this is a really good offer if she accepts. So I'm super happy with the first desert egg trade. Wow, wow, wow. So excited about that. So let's see what else we can get. It looks like my desert egg is thirsty and this is the last task. So we're about to see what pet we are going to hatch from our very first desert egg. I hope it's a legendary. I hope it's a legendary. What's it going to be? Mm, 
and it looks like oh we've got a coyote oh i think the coyotes are really cute so maybe someone will want to offer for this coyote i'm just all about trade 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 because i'm pretty sure that i um hatched about 150 of the urban eggs on just this main account so probably about 200 of them so i know in the next like three months or whatever while this desert egg is out um, i'm going to be hatching a bunch of them i just don't need to be first to hatch them that's just not the way i'm playing the game my whole goal is just to see what i can get for these desert eggs as soon as they come out i'm just not concerned with me hatching any of them I've had this desert, or I mean, the coyote out for since we hatched it, and but I think I'm gonna put the desert egg out just because I'm just not really sure. Do people want the pets or do they want the desert egg? So we'll just have to wait and see. I think I'll just put in chat. Oh, it looks like we have an offer. So are they wanting to offer for the egg or the coyote? I'll put the egg in. Ooh, I like a woodland egg. Okay. I don't actually have a woodland egg and I, I just like to collect the eggs so that I can have some in my backpack. I think I don't trade a lot like when I'm speed grinding because I feel like trading takes a really long time. Like every trade seems to take so long but I'm not sure why. Uh, this person said hi so we're going to say hello back. Um, I'm just still not sure. Are they wanting to trade the desert egg for the woodland egg? I'd probably do that just because. Um, Oh, it looks like, can I offer for the coyote? Absolutely, you can offer for the coyote. So, okay, is it woodland egg for coyote? Oh, she's adding, or he or she is adding. I'm pretty sure that the coyote is just like common, so I feel like I'm gonna hatch a lot of them. Wow, 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 look at all the stuff that she's adding for this egg. Maybe she's flexing on me, or maybe she's gonna say pick one, but that is one really good offer, guys. Wow, wow, wow. I'm super impressed with that. No way this coyote is worth that. Uh, but yes, absolutely, I will accept this offer. Okay, so is she going to say, are they going to say anything? Um, I'm going to accept because yes, yes, yes. I, actually, I just really don't think this coyote is worth that, guys. I just don't. I feel like this person is going to... I don't decline, but let's see. Uh, is it going to go through? Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. They accepted. That is unbelievable. Guys, we have only traded one desert egg and one coyote that we hatched from the desert egg for all these pets. And I would say that we already have a rich inventory because we can take all the pets that we just got from these two trades, only two desert eggs, and we could trade up. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and hatch another desert egg if no one's offering for the desert eggs because, wow, that coyote got us a lot of really awesome pets. Once this uh, board task is over with, our next desert egg is going to hatch and we're going to see what pet we're going to get. Oh, I'm so excited. What? A, oh, we got a Gila monster. It looks like the Gila monster is uncommon. It's kind of a cute little like lizard. Maybe someone will be interested in um, offering for this Gila monster, just like they were the coyote. All right, so I already say uh, trading desert eggs with my name, so I'm just going to say trading Gila monster in chat and see if anyone's interested in a Gila monster. I don't know if people are going to be as interested in the Gila monster as they were the coyote. I know the coyote's really cute. I kind of actually really like this Gila monster. Oh, it looks like we have another trade. I'm not sure. Do they want the Gila monster? Do they want the egg? Oh, it looks like they're adding eggs. We're not interested in getting eggs unless, well, if we could get two desert eggs for a Gila monster, yes, we would do that. So we're going to accept. Are they going to go through with that? No, they declined. Yeah, I would have declined too. There's no way that I would trade one Gila monster for two desert eggs because they could have got two Gila monsters out of those eggs. All right, so we'll say we're trading Gila Monster and Desert Eggs. So look at all the people standing around with Desert Eggs. It's like all these people already have Desert Eggs. Are they going to want to offer for ours? Oh, it looks like we have a trade request. Um, do they want a Gila Monster? Do they want an egg? Let's see. 
All right, so they said, how many desert eggs? So I have 10 desert eggs, so let's see. Are they gonna offer for all 10 desert eggs? I personally prefer to, uh, to just like put one desert egg in. Oh, they have a neon fly ride B. So I guess they're asking how many desert eggs can they get for the neon fly ride B? Um, I'll do three desert eggs. Maybe they can counter offer and say that they'd like more desert eggs, I'm not sure. Nope, they declined. All right, well, I'm going to put my desert egg back out because I think that, A, we could hatch it, um, but I think people are probably more interested in the desert egg than they are the Gila Monster. So I'm gonna work on knocking out some of these tasks and um, maybe hatching another desert egg. Let's see what some of these pets, these desert egg pets look like as neons and megas. Um, the Gila Monster looks pretty cute as a neon. I really like it as a mega. I could see myself trying to make a mega, especially since it's uncommon because it wouldn't take as long. What about um, maybe the coyote? What does that look like, neon and mega? Eh, I don't really like it, neon. It's okay. Uh, what's another pet from the desert egg? Um, let's look in chat. Uh, maybe the roadrunner? Let's see what that looks like as a neon and as a mega. There's actually a lot. Mm. Ooh, I like that one, Neon. I think that's really cool, Neon and Mega. I'm not really sure, like, I haven't checked on the other pets, like, as Neons and Megas, but let's see what we can get for these desert eggs. Our next desert egg is about to hatch, so let's see what we're going to get. It looks like we got, uh, gosh, I can't see it. Uh, what did we get? Oh, we got another coyote. Let's hope we can trade that. Let's hope somebody wants to trade for our coyote. Now we are trading a coyote, a gila monster, and desert eggs. So I wonder if we're going to get any offers. Oh, we got another trade request. Let's see. Do they want a coyote? Do they want a gila monster? Do they want a desert egg? Looks like they put an armadillo in there. Um, I'm not really interested in getting the other pets. I'm not, I'm just not, it's just not important to me. But we got another trade request. I actually know this person. We're friends. So let's see what she wants to offer for. Does she want to offer for our desert eggs? Does she want to offer for our coyote or our gila monster? It looks like she said how many desert eggs. Um, I guess she wants to know how many desert eggs for the horse. Um, I'm guessing I'd give two maybe. For the rideable horse, I'm not really sure what anything is worth, like, as far as the desert eggs are, going, are concerned. I'm just going to ask her if she's interested. Um, she's typing. She said, hmm, I don't know, since it's right, how much for Fleur de Ice? So, um, does she have a Fleur de Ice that she's wanting to trade, or does she want me to trade a Fleur de Ice? I definitely like the Florida Ices. I don't know about you guys. I'm actually working on a Mega Florida Ice at the moment. So, oh, wow, she's adding a bunch of stuff in. Uh, I'm going to keep adding eggs um, for those pets. I would be very happy to trade uh, six or seven or eight uh, of the desert eggs for those pets. But um, I just, like I said, I'm not really sure what they're worth. So it's kind of like what, how much do people want the desert eggs? That seems to be like the deal. So she asked me to let her know like how much I thought each one of the pets was worth or how many desert eggs I would give for each one of the pets. So I did that and then we'll see what she says. I'm, I would give her seven of the desert eggs for those pets. Remember guys, I'm not looking for any specific pets here. I'm just looking to get a rich inventory. So I'm just looking to add to my inventory. So it looks like she just wants to trade one sloth for one egg or for two eggs. One egg, two eggs. I trade it for one egg. I think that's a pretty good deal. It's not as good as some of the other ones that we got, but I think it's a fair trade. So now we have traded two desert eggs and one coyote so far. So, but let's see what else we can get for our desert eggs. I'm only trading for one hour just to see what I can get. So I left for a little bit and I knocked out some tasks and now we're still trying to trade this coyote and desert eggs and I guess the gila monsters as well. 
I had my coyote out for a long time and I was doing a task for it along with my alt and their pet and I even got the coyote all the way up to junior, um, aged up to junior, but I think I'm going to get another desert egg out and so I can hatch it and see because it'd be so awesome if we got a legendary out of the desert egg and then we could trade it and see what pets we could get for that. All right, so we're going a really long time without anyone wanting to offer for our, our coyote or our desert egg, but I'm still trying to hatch another desert egg just to see if like what pet we can get from it. I am going to keep uh, trying to trade desert eggs um, and hatch them um, for probably at least another week. All right, so we got another trade request, so we're going to put an egg in, a desert egg, and see, oh, does she want to offer for the coyote? I'll just add them all in and see what she's interested in. Oh, she said, can I offer for the coyote? Absolutely, you can offer for the coyote. So this is exciting. Let's see what we can get for the second coyote that we hatched. Oh, she's offering us a toasty red panda, which I think is ultra rare for our coyote. Absolutely, yes, I will do this trade. Look at that, guys. Whoop, we're doing so awesome. So far, we've traded two coyotes and two desert eggs. Let's see if we can get any more offers. Oh, we got another offer. Let's see, we just have the desert eggs and the gila monster. People don't seem to be all that interested in the gila monster, so let's put an egg in and see if we can get an offer. Oh, a Cerebrus, which is also, what is it? It's legendary, so I'd say that's a super win for us. It looks like she accepted, like she's happy with this trade, I'm happy with this trade, so this would be our, pretty much like our fifth desert egg. Look at that, that is super awesome, guys. I traded for probably another 20 minutes trying to trade the desert eggs and I had no takers so I could have switched servers but I thought about this video and I just wanted to do the trades for about an hour and I would say we totally had wins. So let me show you guys what we actually came out with. Like what did we trade and then what pets did we come out of this one hour of trading after the desert egg came out. Look at this. We absolutely absolutely did phenomenal. So we traded three desert eggs and two coyotes and we came out with one black moon bear, one cutacabra, one beluga whale, one woodland egg, one neon donkey, one lunar tiger, one toasty red panda, one sloth, one zebra, one quokka, one ghost, one neon camel, one neon ant, one red panda, and one cerebrus. I would say that this is proof that my First tip for my how to get a rich inventory video is absolutely, it absolutely positively works. This is what we traded in one hour for five desert eggs, so we absolutely came away with a rich, richer inventory. I'm hoping to make some more videos just like this one, trading the desert eggs, so you guys can see that you can actually get a rich inventory from trading the new eggs as soon as they come out. And it is still not too late to get a royal desert egg. You can, you still have six days, which is what you need to place all the statues. So you can still start that event today and still come away with the royal desert egg in six days. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Until next time.